Here's an art idea you could do with your child for Valentine's Day. It's to make a heart and it's doing block painting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Really simple and you can have your child do a lot of that with you as well. Um, so what you're going to need is some construction paper, you know, different, or, you know, you could use another, another kind of paper as well. Construction paper just works really well. And so what you're going to do is um, you're going to make the heart. So fold the paper in half. Whatever size you have is fine. This is just what I happen to have. And then draw the heart with a marker, with a crayon, whatever. And so you're going to draw the heart and you're folding it in half so when you cut it out, you know you'll have a whole heart. So whatever size heart you want, just go ahead and draw that on there. And then you or your child can cut it out. All you need to do is follow that line. And your child can do that as well. They just have to keep the paper folded for it to work. If your child doesn't want to do it, you can do it. Don't force them to do it. We want it to be fun. Okay? So, when you open it up, of course you're going to have a heart. Okay? So, what we're going to do is your child can use some paint and put some paint on this side. You know, you can use fun valentine -y colors. You know, red and purple and pink. You can mix it with white. It can be pastel, whatever color. And, you know, you can just go to your local craft store and buy bottles of paint. A Crayola mix paint, things like that. Don't buy the little bottles. You want to buy the bigger bottles because your child will probably use a lot of paint. You could even add some glitter to it or buy glitter paint. So what they're going to do is on one side or two sides, however they want to do it, it's just fine. They're going to put on the paint. And, of course, sometimes it's going to mix and be brown, but that's okay. No worries. That's why it's kind of fun to add white to it because, you know, it doesn't make that lovely brown color. And then they're going to fold it over. So now what I'm using is I'm using a placemat. That's a vinyl placemat. And it helps with, um, you know, for the paint to only get on the placemat instead of the table. Now, if you're thinking your child's going to be really messy, put out some newspaper as well around the placemat. And then it will really help with cleanup. So what they're going to do is they're going to fold it over like this, and then they're just going to press it, press down on it, and that paint is going to rub all over. You can see it oozing out the side. That's fun, fun part. It's okay. It's oozing out the side. And they're going to rub, 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 rub all over, and then they're going to open it up like this and see what came out. <laughs> just a fun little thing. Sometimes you can kind of say, oh, well, what does that look like? You know, what does that look like to you? You know, a butterfly or a whatever, a cat or whatever they see. And then, you know, if they want to do it again, they can. I just warn children that the more paint you put on, the more likely it could get a hole in it. You know, I don't want you to be sad. So, and some children, that doesn't matter to them. They just want to keep rubbing away. But it's easy to make those hearts. So you can just make, you know, five or six hearts and, um, and then send them to people too if you want. That's a, that's a fun thing to do to get those in the mail. So I hope you enjoy this art idea.